What's good guys, today is April 1st. I haven't got a chance to see the Trinidad James video yet. Maybe after this, I'm headed out to go eat some pizza right now. And yeah, so that's what's going on. Goodness, I'm eating, I'm about to head home. Hopefully catch this Trinidad James video. And yeah, let's see how it turned out, y'all. That uh, Sneaker Watch had posted this interview. The first half of it is um, an interview with Eric Austin, and the other half is an interview with me. Um, at the Air Max event. I think it's really cool. Um, I was already like just uh, Very happy to have like seen him again. That was really cool as a kid. He was a huge like um, Like skater idol idol to me basically uh, growing up so I owned all his shoes as a kid and whatnot so to be in this video I mean, it's just a little small thing, but it's still really cool in my opinion and uh, yeah uh, Thanks sneaker watch for um, you know taking the time out and uh Posting and doing the interview. It was really cool. Text Thanks. Trinidad James. The uh, video isn't up yet, but it's about to be, so I'm going to take this time to just kind of put some clothes away and then uh, film another sneaker review and upload it for you guys. So that's what I'm about to get into for these next few hours. Uh, boring, but you know, just got to get Today done. Today is April 1st. What was like the uh, the prank that you liked the least? What was the one that you felt like you got duped the most or whatever it is? Definitely leave that in the comment box. I like, uh, you know, checking that type of stuff out. So let me know what the prank was that sucked like for the most. sneakers, it was definitely bait for me. And even, like, in the closet, you can see there's a mixture of, like, the older bait as well as, like, the new stuff. Still definitely supporting and picking it up because, yeah, still one of my favorite. Video, yeah. eating gummy bears, yeah, watching no, some IGN videos, videos no, chilling, having a good day. video is up. Giving it a watch right now. Eating some rice, grubbing. Relaxing. Go check it out, guys. I'm going to have a link down below. personally just holds a special place in your heart. The, uh, the Soul Collector crate. Um, this crate was released in... I have it a month in. It's pretty bad. I'm still putting stuff away, but I am. So I'm going to show you a little bit of my video game collection, guys. At the top, that shelf is dedicated to Final Fantasy. Next, we have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and a little, like, um, converter cartridge right there for N64 to play the, like, imported games. Um, over here we have a few boxed games, um, some Japanese N64 games, Animal Crossing and Smash Brothers, some more boxed games, some PSP videos, um, boxed games for PlayStation, uh, imported PlayStation Dreamcast, uh, demos for PlayStation that I still have from when I was a kid, demos for Dreamcast, boxed Zelda games. Um, next, this shelf right here, aside from these two that are stacked up, Everything in the back and everything laying down in the front is all dead stock um, sealed games. Um, games that I either really enjoyed or didn't get around to playing and now don't plan on playing. But um, yeah, in most cases they're duplicates of some of the games I really enjoy. Old consoles, old handhelds. The um, handhelds are pretty much in release order uh, with the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Light, which was a Japan exclusive. Uh, Game Boy Color, Neo Geo, and Game Boy um, SP and the Nintendo controller um, like style. Uh, box Game Boy, it's been opened but it has all the original like components. Um, a box like headset that came separately from the Nintendo. And some boxed systems right there. Super Nintendo, Wii, original PlayStation, and original Nintendo. So that's a little bit of my nerd corner. Hope you guys have enjoyed.